Our next speaker, Mr. Ahmed Badr, Director of Project Facilitation and Support at International Renewable Energy Agency, IRENA, speaking on today's topic, Unlocking Renewable Energy Investments Through Project Facilitation. Over to you, Mr. Ahmed. Thank you, Mr. Dishona. Uh, uh, and thank you very much for giving me the opportunity within your uh, very famous uh, forum. And uh, good morning, good afternoon, good evening to all audience around the our today's webinar. Uh, today, I'm going to present to all our uh, colleagues from within MENA countries the, uh, the thought and the, the new direction that IRENA is already acting on for scaling up renewable energy investments. Uh, basically, uh, as you can see from here, this is basically uh, what we one of the very important conclusions that we have basically uh, uh, shared during our uh, most recent publication, which we call it World Energy Transition Outlook for the year 2021. And we can see easily that there is a second to none uh, priority and demand for scaling up renewable energy investments. Uh, and basically, if we look for basically the, uh, the scenario that we are looking at starting this year to reach 2050, include passing through 2030 targets, you can see simply that we need to scale up the investment by additional $33 trillion within uh, climate resilient or main renewable energy projects. As you can see from the from this important graph that the major investments coming still on the solar BV and uh, 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 onshore wind, uh, sorry, offshore wind, but actually we are expecting uh, to be followed by concentrating solar bar, but actually we do see that there is a second to none uh, scale up on this all type of technologies and renewable energy, and that we can see also that the cost of renewable energy continues to decline specifically main or mainly on solar BV and wind bar generation. And that's basically putting them in a very high edge competing with the normal bar generation type of technologies in several markets, not only in developed economies, but also and more importantly in developing economies and also in some LDCs countries. Well, before leaving this slide, I would like to highlight the fact that as you can see that still, as I was just mentioning before, solar BV and wind are, and I would like to, to repeat that for other important reasons that I will connect with with the, with the following slides, that solar and wind are still on the top of preferred renewable energy technologies. Uh, uh, if we look at this, we can see easily that the needed investments for the, for the decade starting this year till reaching Paris target agreement target, uh, dates, which basically 2030, we can see that there is a second to none need for basically expanding the investments uh, 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 by, by more than five times. And including the fact that there is a need to look on considering in the investment all type of investment models, like for example, equity. Uh, as we know, the old model for investment were basically looking at normal debt to be given to investors, whether through public investments or private sector. But now there is very important to have skin in the game with all investors, including the hosting government or basically the, the uh, several partners to make sure that the, the risk that will be a specific of technologies are equity or basically shared. This will minimize and dilute the risk burden on one investor or developer, but more importantly, it, it will attract more investors to come and join. And as we can see that there is increasing numbers for new type of financial products like equity from private investors, as well as private sectors. Uh, as, as usual, lending from international financial institutions is always there, but also lending from capital markets and also some kind of, uh, uh, of, of uh, uh, private lending through uh, new uh, uh, guarantee mechanisms and risk sharing mechanisms are already increasing. And there is a need for this type of technologies this type of financial products to be spread in order to make sure that they were taking their share from the, the needed investments that we are talking about more than $3 trillion, which is a massive investment globally. 
On our side in IRENA, uh, starting with year 2020, we had to uh, introduce and reintroduce new service package to all our member states. That's basically, we call it project facilitation, that basically we are working in partnership on a tripartite partnership between the investors, mainly private sector or foreign direct investors in a, wide, in a wider definition, as well as international financial institutions, including local financing banks. And as you all know that IRENA is not an implementing uh, agency, but it works on its combative advantage by facilitating investment, because we all know that to come up with a bankable project or investor ready project, we need to come up with a, a project information document that will attract all type of investors being MDBs or IFIs or, or public governments or private sector. So in that sense, we built our project facilitation package along two main pillars. One of them is what we call it climate investment platform. And the other one is IRENA financing facility. IRENA financing facility is IRENA EDFD facility that as we all know that IRENA EDFD have joined EDFD since it was launching as, as, as agency in Abu Dhabi for creating this project financing facility. And to date, uh, the facility have attracted or mobilized project with around $1 billion, including capital investment from the capital uh, as from the anchor investor, which is ADFD representing government of Abu Dhabi. And I will talk in details about it later. And now we spread more than 25 projects covering the globe or the six continents of the globe. On the other side, side since September 2019 and during the UN uh, uh, climate summit, IRENA in partnership with UNDP and Sustainable Energy for All Initiative of the United Nations and close coordination with Green Climate Fund, we basically created Climate Investment Platform. Climate Investment Platform is a virtual but inclusive platform that basically looking at preparing bankable or investor-ready projects that attract several financial institutions, whether private or public financial institution. And to date, through IRENA's efforts, basically we have assembled or basically we developed more than uh, 30 project information document, even during pandemic, most of which concentrated in Africa, more specifically in West African countries. And out of these 33 projects, we basically attracted financing or facilitated financing for about seven projects, summing up for more than 450 plus megawatt of renewable energy projects. And for sure, this facility working as demand driven with the purpose of accelerating renewable energy developments. Uh, and investments. And basically, our main support is what we call it fit for purpose support, meaning that we come up based on the consent of the uh, IRENA member countries who are hosting this project in physical terms. And second, we would like to, to make sure that these projects are fitting within the NDC or National Determined Contribution Plans so that at the end, we are working on facilitating uh, the capabilities of the countries to reach uh, Paris Agreement targets. Uh, uh, here, um, basically, uh, I, I am representing uh, some of the uh, uh, achieved uh, 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 results uh, for the uh, for the ADFD for the CIB. Until now, we have more than 250 registered partners, and partners here are mainly coming from private sector investors and local financial institutions. Out of these 250, specifically for the financial institution, we have more than 57. And at the last slide, I will mention uh, or give some of the snapshot of this financial institution, which basically covering the globe. And also we attracted 218 projects for the consideration of the CIP facilitation and 50 projects have been facilitated, including technical assistance and fit for purpose support, including those 30 plus projects that we, we basically I mentioned earlier and we supported them. And as you can see from the graph to the right, that basically, uh, the most uh, regions that basically uh, provided projects, because again, we are working demand driven, is basically West Africa, uh, followed by East Africa, and then South Africa, uh, and finally, uh, Southern Africa. Uh, that's basically from the side the distribution of projects we received. <coughs> Sorry. <coughs> Sorry for that. The CIB working along uh, in, a, in a structure, the approach similar to what banks or MDBs working on along four tracks. 
track one is to work with the countries to define clearly in a very concrete way what are their uh, climate targets so that basically we are working on the very important aspect to make sure that whatever project we support is coming within the climate targets or indices of the countries the so second one is that if there is we, most of time when we come for a project we need to look since early beginning at early stage development of the project what are the policies and regulations that will ensure the the projects that in private sector will come in are basically de-risked or, or within the risk appetite of any investor even this investor is public or uh, sector or private sector which we're always heading to and finally uh, we are also uh, for track three is basically making sure that we match between the the geographical coverage and the risk appetite of the financial institution vis-a-vis -vis the project developers or the projects that are coming on the supply side and finally we are working before submitting any project to any financial institution that project is clearly de-risked along the famous eight de-risking areas of the renewable energy whatever it is as you uh, environmental risk or weather risk or basically uh, access uh, access to risk capital or type of risks that all known to all private sector in this and basically uh, as, as, as i just mentioned earlier that the uh, uh, the cip is divided it's working among four partners ci uh, undp irena se for all and gcf or green climate fund and for track three and track four basically this is uh, Irina is taking the lead among other four partners. Uh, uh, again, I would like to repeat the fact that CIB is a platform to facilitate financing and uh, matchmaking and not to provide financing or to work on implementing this project. But we are only acting on facilitation side of the project, which is basically very important along the two main important areas of that need support, which basically uh, uh, preparing a, a, a pipeline of bankable projects, a tight one, and second, to provide needed fit for purpose technical assistance. Uh, who could access the CIP? That's very important. I'm sure that all investors around the map today will basically look at this. Basically, there are CIP projects and there are CIP partners. So any, uh, for the projects, any project proponent requesting arena support from public or private sector, or basically requesting technical assistance to prepare their project into bankability level, or what we call the prepare project information document, which basically is the same terminology that World Bank Group is using, uh, is basically could access uh, and to provide the project if they need any kind of support. And as you can see, the link is already there that easily you can type arena for ciborg and you will be there directly with the web page, which is very simple to register and to provide your project in five minutes. Uh, for the CIP partners, we are basically working along all uh, more than 200 plus MDBs globally. And to date, we are approaching more than 100 plus uh, IFIs and MDBs and local financial institutions. And basically, we work with them to register them and to sort them through a very comprehensive database that basically call for uh, inviting them based on their geographical coverage, their risk appetite, their financial products that fit for purpose with any project comes from the other end. And again, also you can find any information under the same website as shown in the uh, below in the in the slide. Achieve the results that you can see that, uh, as I mentioned earlier, to sum up all results, we supported more than 33 projects as IRENA. 17 out of them is under matchmaking already. And we introduced 12 partners and already six projects have been matched. And as you can see, most of them basically coming in Africa and coming from private sector. Another very important uh, distribution uh, or important statistics here that as you can see that major part that needs investment are basically the small scale project, which is typically correct. If you look at the business model in Europe, most of the uh, uh, installed capacity in Europe coming under the small scale and more, more importantly or more relevant is household. Uh, the second issue, if you can look at the uh, the major part of investment, again, is a small scale. But as we can see also, that uh, the more interest of the investors globally, either at large scale projects or a small scale projects. In between, you can find uh, a wide, wide range of variants of uh, interest of the investors in terms of investment in all scale between 
uh, upper, upper, upper small to lower medium scale of projects. And also more importantly, and very healthy phenomenal that more than two thirds of the investment are globally coming from private sector. With our achieved results of these 17 projects under matchmaking in which we matched already six, you can see that uh, when we reach this 33 project, we will reach 470 megawatt, uh, amounting for more than $1.1 billion. And by that, we will be saving more than 5 uh, million tons of CO2 equivalent. Uh, this is also a very important slide to show the geographical distribution of the investments uh, of the CIP investment project. And as you can see, the major focus coming on Africa, starting with the highest with the West Africa, in uh, East Africa, and then West Africa, and so on. Uh, 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 it's very important also to highlight also that we have until now the major part of the of the partners are coming on financial partners, and uh, that's also another good achievement for 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 the CIB uh, on the at least on Irina side. And as you can see, uh, and also I have to say that other partners achieved good results in new NDP and SE for all. And basically to show some of the good uh, names show, uh, showing with us. Uh, is basically we can count for World Bank, Asian Infrastructure Investment Bank, Covidis, Islamic Development Bank, JICA, Kazakh University Prospect of, of Italy, African Trade Insurance Agency, and so etc. Uh, this is basically a uh, very uh, one before last slide, but shows how we look at projects and support them to reach them into bankability, uh, presenting by completion of project information document. Any project that we receive under IRENA for CIB website, basically it, ha it has to be registered by the interested project proponent. And then the project goes under our internal quality control check, or what we call it quality at entry, starting with the screening of this project to, to, to ensure that they are matching with the, with the, with the, uh, with the NDC criteria for, for whatever countries that is hosting. And then we, we, we had to assemble uh, a very multidisciplinary comprehensive panel to look at the project and to see what is missing. And then we start to provide our technical assistance to prepare the project information document. And then it will go for again for another panel to review this project information document. And finally, through our comprehensive database, we match this completed uh, PID with the interest of the financial institution who are partner and register with us as well. Again, as bear their geographical coverage, their they're matching with their financial products. I mean, IFIs of are registered with us and also the risk appetite. Uh, uh, after that, this is again a final snapshot, a snapshot of the partners that are with us and some other names in addition to what I mentioned earlier. We have EBRD, we have Node Development Fund, FMO, FMO of Netherlands, uh, and some private sector names like Enel Green Bauer and Aqua Bar of Saudi Arabia. So we are already having very big names uh, globally with us covering the six continents and also we have mega for lib bank. Uh, that's basically my presentation today. I'm sorry for being long. I will stop sharing back to you, Melvin. Thank you. All right. Thank you, Mr. Ahmad, for your time and your presentation. Uh, for attendees, if you'll have any question for Mr. Ahmad, please share it with me and I will get it answered by Mr. Ahmad. Thank you, sir. Have a nice uh, afternoon ahead. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Bye.